What's up everybody? Hey, we're just doing a video today on basically the uh, latest firmware update here on the Mavic Air 2. I'm uh, just going to check out some things. I know some people are saying some stuff about the um, the some of the different modes and stuff on here for like the AK hyperlapse and whatnot and for like the still photos. We're just going to kind of go through some things and just kind of show the perspective from the drone and just from overall view how it handles with this new current update. Like I said, today is the um, the 21st of um, June, and I'm out here. We're just kind of, like I said, just doing this quick tutorial, seeing how it is with this current firmware. I guess they've added some 8K um, st like stills and some other stuff on there, which that may have already been on there with the 48 megapixels. I'm not quite sure if that's what it, what they've really added with that, but. Um, like I said, we're just kind of see how it handles and see if there's any changes, if any of the other problems occur, like people were saying, like I said, with the um, tripod mode and whatnot. So here we go and let's see. All right, so here we are right now, currently in a hover, just kind of sitting basically in a flat hover, just seeing how it handles so far, nothing, no problems with that. Um, all in all, I don't see any like any real problems with the hover. Hover seems to be working pretty good. Um, can I just give you a... Yeah, so there he is in the hover. We're showing it in the hover right now. And like I said, it shows pretty still. It's pretty... I haven't noticed any real changes with this, so obviously so far so good as far as just staying in the hover and expecting any problems, but you never know with some of these updates what you might encounter, but luckily this seems to be doing pretty well. So we're going to take it around here a little bit, we're just going to see how, how this handles. Like I said, I'm going to first start out here, we're going to we're in normal mode. So we'll just kind of see, I'll just kind of fly it around here and go back to the screen and kind of show you from the drone's perspective of really how I can handle and we'll go from there. As you can see, it seems to be pretty good. That's in tripod mode. As far as you can see, I mean, from the drone's perspective, I mean, seems to be fine. I'm not having any, any issues with that. I know one thing I did encounter prior before this update, though, that I don't know if anybody else out there had this issue, but sometimes in sunlight during the uh, active track or just even just the optical voice in general, I'm going forward in normal mode. I haven't tried, obviously, with the optical voice engaged. I would have issues where um, it would just kind of not, it would go really slow and just kind of get stuck and just kind of go in a super, super turtle mode. I don't know if that's anything anybody else has had out there or anybody else out there has had it. Let me, let me know if that's been an issue with you, but that's the only thing I've encountered since this. With it. I haven't had that issue with any other drone but except for this one. So I'm curious to see now if, you know, I'll have to test later to see if that has fixed the problem, if they you know what where how things are now with that but other than that i mean everything else has been fine i really never really had any issues thank god luckily with any of these updates and i know you hear the horror stories of some people having these problems with things and totally bricking the drone but luckily i've been pretty fortunate and haven't had too many issues so far fingers crossed so now i'm going to take it this is just the normal mode like i said from the drone's perspective just kind of flying around so kind of go at a normal speed force here, just kind of take it around. Seems to be pretty smooth. All right, just gonna kind of stop it there. Now we're gonna try see how the tripod mode works. So here I'm switching over to tripod. Now you can see. I'm just gonna see how they yeah, do. People were complaining about it being jerky. That's one thing I'm trying to see if. Seems to be pretty good. I don't know. Still seems kind of fast for tripod mode though, but. So... Let's 
see, but I mean, I guess there's a little bit of a difference. I don't know, it still seems pretty fast for tripod mode. Maybe more of the turn modes and stuff or anything, but. So there's tripod mode. See, I didn't see any issues with that. Kind of give you a perspective of from where the drone's point of view to kind of tell you see what it looks like here. Um, as you can see, it seems to be pretty good. That's in tripod mode. <laughs> All right, now let's try to see what else we got here. Like I said, so far so good. I really haven't seen anything that stands out with any of that. It seems to, hopefully if anything, it's made in some improvements and things seem to be smoother than they were. Like I said, I haven't encountered any problems, but I know maybe some people have had some issues with it. It'd be interesting, I'm trying to see if I can get it to kind of do that thing it did before I was mentioning about it. Kind of, I don't know if it's something with the obstacle voice where it just kind of, starts going in a really super super turtle mode for some reason i don't know some of the things almost thinks it's something in its obstacle avoidance but i don't know i just i don't know if it's like maybe at certain times of day too when the sun's lower you can see where that could be a problem it might go into the sunlight causing some issues as well all right so as far as everything else goes i mean it's, yeah it's forward mode Appears to be working just fine. Good. All right. Now we'll see. We're gonna take a couple of. Um, here we switch to take a couple of stills and see how this is. I just mentioned the. Um, I believe in default, if you look, I think it should be, I mean, obviously not in default, so it's set, but you can check off the, uh, you make sure you have the 48 megapixel setting. I feel like sometimes it just resets itself, like after you can leave the app and come back in, so I don't know if something you always got to have. It's kind of annoying, I mean, I don't know, it kind of defaults back to the same thing all the time, just back to the standard photo mode. So, switching back into normal. It's going to take a couple of stills to kind of give you an idea. I'm going to take a couple of stills. I'm going to bring her up a little bit. One thing I do really love, and I mentioned people before about this, is this controller. I mean, it's so great just the way it's set up and everything. It's just hop and go everything and as Bruce is like just that handheld because I really like hopefully see some more of this design aspect in future drones. So here we're just going to kind of take the road here and just take a quick still of this. We'll have to see how. Now this may kind of just be, let me double check because this might actually just be that's one thing you always got to check off. See, it wasn't in that. I have to just check it for the 48 megapixel. Now we're going to try taking some of these. This should be, should these Stanley be your 8K? So I don't see an 8K. So I'm assuming when they said that, I thought that up there, that feature was already kind of embedded in there. So I'm not sure what was really added with that. If there's any other additional things, please let me know if there is. Because that's like I said, the only thing I see right now is just the 48 megapixel setting in here. Take some kind of stills over here. Okay. Like I said I'll have to have to see how those come out. Hopefully, you know. And I've been pretty impressed. I mean, so far, I mean, the 48 megapixels is pretty good. But like I've said before, on another thing, I was talking to somebody about like they were saying how it's not a true 48 megapixel. How they're using software to make it 48 megapixel. 
I want to just debunk to see if that's really true. Cause like, I mean, I can understand how maybe they could have done that. They would break it down and kind of just split off the pixels to create the 48 megapixels. So you're not getting that true 48 megapixels. So you're trying to compare it, like to say that you're doing some comparisons to try with another camera with something that's at least equivalent to 48 megapixels and see how it compares to that. So it'd really be kind of interesting to see if this is, if it really is just a software thing or if it is if it's a true 48 megapixel or not. And it's just weird how they can come maybe get around it and just saying you're using software saying this is 48 megapixel and it may not be. But there's no, like I said, I'll have to kind of run some more tests on that and see how that is and, you know. Alright, so now, let me try. So apparently everything seems to be pretty good with this. Now, like I said, um... So let's look at, we have some of the um, free, you can know, see so you got all these different things from the hyperlapse. They're talking about, I mentioned about the AK hyperlapse. So you got some stuff, like I said, like free circle, course lock, and um, the waypoints. Maybe more interested in using a free if I was going to really use this feature. I don't know how often I'm really going to go ahead and use these features, but... Um, you know, I guess it's a good thing to do, and you got to be out somewhere where you can really take advantage of these features. But and now I'm just going to kind of maybe just do a quick thing just to kind of see, just kind of play around to see how this actually works out. So make sure we had select free, hyperlapse, and then that's, that's one thing I don't understand is it doesn't really say. And then if somebody maybe can tell me where you might find this, is where are you actually set for the 8K on here? Because I don't know where it's actually setting the video resolution on here. I'm just seeing... Uh, so you got... These are your different things. You can set the speed. Um, I guess it's set for maximum. I'm going to bring it up to max. I don't know. I'm just going to go up to about 6.7 miles per hour. I guess is the maximum for right now. Uh, five second interval lengths, or six second intervals with the uh, five second length. Uh, let's see now. So, so, you just hit that. And then I guess we just go into record. And then like I said, it should start doing its thing let's see what this does like I said I'm assuming this is in the AK like I said I don't know how what resolution this is really gonna be in I know these things take for a long time to put the piece together you really got to spend a lot of time to just to get a five second clip out of these things so we'll see and one thing to point out too is I mean sure you probably do when you're dealing with 8K, I mean unless you don't have a powerful computer, unless you may have a pretty good decent computer, it's hard to really edit things like this. Bad enough trying to bet at 4K, and even trying to deal with 8K, it's a whole other story. And I can only imagine, you know, the higher you go, it's like, you know. So I don't know how often I'd use it. It'd be interesting to see if they would ever add just 8K resolution in general with this or not, but it's good I guess it has this feature to be able to at least do this if you're going to use this for hyperlapse like i said i don't know how often i'm really going to use this feature you know it's hard to say if i'm really going to take advantage of really using this much it's just cool i guess that it's there but not something i probably would be using too often maybe if i'm on a scenic thing like play a lake or taking some things a boat might be cool i'll have to play around more with that here in the future and see how that is like i said we're just kind of just doing very something very simple here I'm just having it kind of pieced together, just um, having it just taking some traffic, nothing interesting at all really, just kind of seeing, get an idea how this works, I'm just going to have to look back and see, like I said, if this is truly an AK or if there's something else I get missing here, I'm not sure what I'm in, so this may not even be in the AK resolution it's set, I don't know what the default resolution is set for. And I said, like this, these take so long time to do this, just for this few second minute clip here to get. So let it 
kind of do its thing. So far, we really only did. I still got a little bit of time to go here. So, like I said, we'll kind of piece this together and I'll kind of show you what, you know, what the final results are of this. <clears throat> I'm not going to go too much longer. Like I said, just kind of getting an idea of what, you know, we're looking at here. I'm probably only going to get maybe a couple seconds here because I know just this is nowhere near long enough to really get enough out of what you need to really get anything decent long footage out of this. Just kind of get a snip pick of kind of how this is and just seeing if this, you know. I've used this in the past, like I said, with the Mavic 2. I've kind of did a good thing, a video with that, kind of playing around with that. Obviously, at the time, they didn't have or didn't, I don't know if they'll ever have it because you think they would add that to that, but having the 8K option for that as well. But then again, you're only 20 megapixels, so it's hard to say really, you know, if that'll ever get or not. But also, this drone, though, I mean, I more admit, is amazing for all the stuff that it does and for the price point which you pay for this. I mean, so I'm just going to wait maybe another few seconds here and then I'm probably going to go ahead and bring it back down. We're going to stop this. Like I said, we'll see what the final results are. I'm not going to go too much into the other stuff. I kind of, this was kind of just really a decent quick video, just kind of me flying around a little bit in the tripod mode and of course the hyperlapse mode and just seeing how that works out. But I'm not, I've kind of played around with like some of the other things and mm -hmm. some of the quick shots and stuff. And like I said, I'm not going to really mess around with that maybe in another video I might I only know the one I was really ever interested in really using was the asteroid was pretty cool playing around with that I did that on the original Mavic Air we've done that and I think I've done it on the Mag 2 and stuff but other than that some of the other ones you know I don't play around with too much I've done boomerang and um I think yeah just the boomerang and um the helix mode but actually a funny thing happened one time with the uh, I think it was with the Mavic Mavic air original matic here it actually got it crashed into a tree because of the you know, having on the side opposite ones i didn't i miscalculated the distance from where the tree was and i was doing i think a boomerang at the time and it just kind of went right into the tree so i had to go ahead and fish that out that's the only time i think i really had a problem with it or anything crashing or anything that nah, just based on an autonomous thing and miscalculating it but other than that i've been pretty successful never had any accidents or nothing with this so like i said it's a pretty solid platform I like it, but all right, I'm going to bring her down. And bring her down. So hey guys, I guess I'm back now. Um, so <laughs> turned out I ran into, did encounter a small little hiccup problem. I think it was morally with my phone. It turned out I guess the screen got hot being out here, and it wouldn't let me go back into the app or nothing because apparently the phone was too hot. So I apologize. I probably don't know what we got of that. Hopefully, I guess I guess I'll find out towards the end here what you know what I did and didn't capture. Hopefully, I was able to still capture that that hyperlapse but like i said i ran into some issues basically i had to return to home that was kind of odd but i think it was more like to do with something with the app not failing and not working i don't know because it's mainly the some app with the phone and like i said it overheated and went into basically locked it out and i was kind of worried because like i couldn't get landed or i couldn't do anything it was kind of just stuck there in a hover so i had to kind of just hit the re luckily i was close enough to return to home and i just kind of hit the return to home feature and i was able to bring it back that was a new one. I never had seen anything like that. But like I said, we'll have to go back and see exactly what we did and didn't get. But all in all, I think that pretty much wraps up my um, thing as far as this current firmware update. Like I said, I didn't see any issues with this firmware update as far as just that. And I think I said that was just like something with the phone just getting hot. And I mean, that's probably, that's nothing to do with DJI or anything else. So like I said, we'll have to, have to kind of go back in there and see, let that phone cool down and everything and go back. But all in all, I think everything else seems to be working pretty good. Like I said, if anybody knows, like, as far as, you know, how to actually do the, um, 
the set if there's a setting in there i'll have to go back and see i'll have to look in the thing to see actually if it is an ak if there's something else i do i may have to do a future update video kind of seeing you know pulling out the you know the settings for the ak in the video as well like i guess we took a couple of stills i'm assuming you know i mean so there's the standard 48 megapixels same for the ak i don't know what was added i didn't see any other things that would be it that was added in there for actual 8k or anything other for stills but all in all i think that's pretty much like i said just wraps up everything here now we're just like i said we'll kind of have to go back in the studio and see how how everything works out if we got that footage or not but all right so i guess until next time guys uh, thanks for watching and um if you like to see more videos like this um don't forget to um you know let's try we try to get some kind of weekly or other videos out there just kind of if you hit that um bell icon you might be able to see some um, some other future stuff that we got coming here soon uh, i got a lot of other tutorials and stuff i'm working on that i'll be having as well coming out here so all right thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye hey guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified when new videos come out and check us out on facebook and instagram at infuse adventures thank you